Watch out, the Tromper is on the loose. And let's add custom entity generation to our world gen. All right, we found ourselves back on Intelligent once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom entity spawns or custom entity generation to our world gen. In the end, it is actually fairly straightforward, all things considered. We just need one additional class in our gen package. It's going to be the mod entity spawn class and it will have only one method called the public static void at entity spawn method there we go and it will have two different calls the one is the biome modifications dot add spawn we're going to choose biome selectors dot include by key and we're just going to choose biome keys dot desert because i don't know why not let's choose the desert it's going to be spawn group monster, exactly like that. We're going to choose mod entities trumper. The weight is going to be, let's do 50. Minimum group size is one, maximum group size is three. And that is pretty much it. Now, the weight here, of course, doesn't mean that it's like 50% likely or something like that. But basically, you have different weights of all the different monsters that can spawn in the desert. And then this weight is basically put into a list. And then, you know, you get like, you can think of it like this. You have 50 different like chances of being selected here and then some you know some other thing like a zombie might have 20 chances to be selected so your chances are of course higher so that is the general idea of the weight here in this case so the higher the weight the more the more chompers are going to be added to that particular biome now we also need this is very important spawn uh, restriction that register and we want to register the mod entities mod entities that chomper with spawn restriction that location that on ground because we want this to spawn on the ground not in the air we also need the height map type motion blocking no leaves and then we want to say hostile entity colon colon can spawn in dark so that is a very interesting thing. What you can do is you can middle mouse mount click on these spawn restrictions and you can actually take a look at all the different restrictions that have been added for everything in vanilla. So all of the vanilla entities right here are basically right here. I highly suggest taking a look at this and also taking a look at all of the different uh, boolean methods over here that you could choose in theory they are very interesting indeed now we still need to call this right here so let's call it at the very bottom here mod entity uh, mod entity spawn actually entity spawn there you go add entity spawn and will you believe it or not that is actually all that we need to do in this case this is everything that we need to add for our custom entity to spawn it should also spawn in the uh, in a already existing world so we can just join a already existing world take a look at the desert make sure that of course it is night because well we are in spawn group monster also very important if you choose spawn group monster make sure that your your entity here is also spawn group monster if there's a mismatch then they won't spawn that's very important i may or may not have taken about an hour or so uh, to figure that one out uh, so yeah that's that's very important but regardless of that let's take a look if our chomper spawns in the world all right so we find ourselves in minecraft we are on normal difficulty let's switch to time set night over here and then let's find the nearest desert locate biome dessert over here mm, a little bit of a cake maybe no actually not it's going to be if it is going to be a cake it's going to be a sand cake well you know you can't ask for everything Mm, this desert might be a little bit too small ah maybe maybe we're gonna get lucky okay so we already have some spawns here and we don't yet have our chomper here but it does only have a weight of 50 so you know it's not going to be as prevalent as maybe some other mobs i actually don't know and there they finally are i finally found them i actually had to fly around for a little bit longer than i would expect to but there you go so basically you can always add you know that you can always get the increase the <laughs> okay increase the weight here as well and then hopefully more of them spawn but yeah they definitely do spawn so that is absolutely awesome and that is how easy it can be to add some custom world gen or some custom entity gen to minecraft but right, that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here hope you found this useful and you'll learn something new and i'll see you all in the next tutorial so yeah